definitely pro uh, having me do state looping, not only for my own personal benefit, but for for the city, for the Central Coast, for California. I think it's it's something that we can definitely work around and just closing it entirely shouldn't be uh, something that is so easily jumped to. So. People think that if they close it down, it's going to harm them or, you know, not be good. Each is beautiful and people will come and visit and, you know, it'll be a tourist attraction. Probably, I, I believe, more popular even without, uh, without off-roading. My name is Molly and I've been working here about five years. The Coastal Commission was trying to shut us down um, last year, but I know they didn't end up doing that. They kind of left it open, I guess, probably for a year or two for us to kind of figure out what we're going to do. Um, I, don't, I guess it hasn't really affected my job too much. You know, I still have one, which is nice, and I think I will probably still end up having one they do close it down all the way. Um, I would just work in the campgrounds and still work there. Um, I don't know. I did hear them say that they may close just the Pier Avenue ramp and have it open in Grand Avenue, but I don't know how true that is. <laughs> they were wanting to close the off, just the off-road area and have driving between Grand and Pier and then camping between those points, which would be nice. You know, people can still drive on there. And people will think that if they close it down, it's going to harm them or you know, not be good for them. That's not the case, I think. I don't think so, no. Hello, my name is uh, Adrian Ramirez. I am uh, a, just a local surfer. I'm originally from Carpinteria. I'm a Pismo implant. They have been surfing for quite a bit of time since I was young, growing up, and just kind of when I moved over here, just kind of uh, going to Oceano and going to Grover and Pismo and you know, all the spots here is kind of like something that I've always surfed, so I've kind of grown a appreciation and kind of like a, like I guess maybe you could say like a spiritual love the Central Coast on a different level throughout high school going down to the dunes and you know camping surfing and just you know spending a day down there so the having the dunes as a as a youth was monumental for me and it's something I still look back on and even when I drive by myself down the beach um, the very uh, the, some of the opportunities that I can um, I rem this is nostalgic whether it be the people that live in the Pomo that want it for air quality reasons or for the snowy plover reasons, which is actually you know, something I can respect because I actually have um, three snowy plovers tattooed on me um, to represent the Central Coast. So I respect the snowy plovers and you know having their designated areas for uh, for their nesting. So protecting them and you know. The whole ATV and driving on the beach uh, does cause them to kind of nest in different areas. It kind of like pushes them more inland, and they do like to be more on the shore. So uh, there's a lot of things that go into the possibility of the closure here. But uh, I think with just more rules as well as enforcing them, especially on busier days, especially during the summer. Uh, I feel like as long as we can find a good medium, I don't think that there's a real valid reason for the dunes to close down. This is the only state park that is a drive-on beach, so it provides a lot of uh, a lot of revenue for not only the five cities, but for the entire state of California. The only pro uh, having the dunes stay open, not only for my own personal benefit, but for for the city, for the Central Coast, for California, I think it's it's something that we can definitely work around and just closing it entirely shouldn't be uh, something that is so easily jumped to. Close it down, it definitely will uh, 
um, will cause all of these businesses to indefinitely close down as well because without the dunes being open, the ATV rentals will be gone. There's no need for the ATVs to be around, um, which is another source of income for the five cities. Uh, and with all the small businesses, the restaurants won't be having as many people come in to come and visit. Uh, would definitely cause Pismo as a whole to kind of uh, switch gears if that was going to be the case, but it would definitely 100% hurt the whole area, not just the surrounding areas of the dunes. Um, we kind of rely on the dunes and the camping and the ATVs to attract people to come, and it would be a real bummer to see kind of most of the people that do come, not come. My name is Aline Villa and I'm a lifelong resident of my beautiful beach town of Oceana Beach and Dunes. I'm a founding member of the Oceana Beach Community Association and our goals are to improve the livability of Oceano and that involves also um, phasing out off-roading in Oceano Beach and Dunes. Through the decades it's had a negative impact on our community. It's grown and changed. In the 70s and early 80s, there was off-roading, but there were different type of vehicles. It was basically just like trucks, you know, normal trucks and beach buggies, and now they're monstrous vehicles. There's huge trucks uh, towing trailers and RVs and all the toys that they use for off-roading. So, And it's grown so much to where there's thousands of people coming uh, during the summer weekends. It has affected the air pollution here in the Mesa area in Oceano because uh, the off-roading, you know, causes a lot of the dirt, the dust to go up and it grinds the sand particles, making them a fine blue dust that can lodge into your uh, lungs and cause, you know, health, major health issues. March 18, the Coastal Commission ruled to phase out off-roading in three years and um, also to close Pier Avenue as the entrance. It was supposed to close in the year, but it's been postponed. So uh, right now we're still waiting to, uh, on a court decision to whether it's going to be closed or not. Was that the we're closing? Was that it is totally Esha, which is an environmental sensitive habitat uh, area. It's got uh, endangered uh, species there, uh, the snowy plover, the California least tern, and other, you know, uh, wildlife, marine wildlife in the area that are endangered. Getting rid of the off-roading will affect people who rent ATVs and make their living from off-roading, but we saw during the closure with COVID that people uh, started coming to our beach and using our beach just like they would use any other beach in California. But we did make a major difference in this decision. For three years, the Oceano Beach Community Association called in on a monthly basis almost to uh, uh, do public comment and state that uh, environmental injustice was happening here in Oceano due to the Otis VRA. And we were mentioned in the Coastal Commission's report and their staff recommendations and, uh, over three times, so a small group of people can make a huge difference.